today I'm going to show you how to take rust off of metal using a quick and simple chemical dip. This here is a sledgehammer that used to belong to my dad and before him, you know, his dad, so my grandpa's. Uh, sure, it's old, rusty, should probably be discarded, but a little bit of sentimental value in it for me, so I want to clean it up. can see it's fully coated with rust. So what I have is evapo rust. A friend of mine turned me on to evapo rust when he was cleaning some car parts. I picked some up. I've used it on some things. It's amazing and uh, so I want to share it with you guys. First I've got a suitable size container to hold my sledgehammer and I've poured enough evapo rust in there. Evapo rust is pretty much yellow. Kind of looks like urine actually. <laughs> until it sucks up rust. Once it sucks up rust, it turns black. And once it's spent, it's spent. So you really only want to use as much as you need for your specific cleaning job. So I've taken out of the five gallon bucket just enough to fit in this container. And uh, what I'm going to do is plop it in there and I'm going to let it sit for 24 hours. I'm not going to let it sit here in my garage court for 24 hours. I'm going to go ahead and move it to an area of the garage where it can just sit undisturbed. And over the 24 hours, I am going to come by, give it a little bit of a slosh. A little bit of a fluid agitation would be good for it. So I'll be doing that off camera. So I have it tucked in a corner of my garage where it'll sit undisturbed over the next 24 hours. And I'll come by and agitate the fluid, slosh it around. And it should be okay right there. Okay, so it's been a little more than 24 hours. 24 is enough to clean this thing. And uh, it's looking pretty good. Anytime you use Evapo Rust, it's gonna leave a film if you don't wash it off. So I'm gonna rinse it now. I've got the hose here. <coughs> bit of heavy caking that just you know, came off there. Yeah, so the bottom didn't quite get the exposure that the rest of it got because it was sitting on it. It's still pretty good though. Rust is gone. So the bottom here where it's, you know, it sat like this in the bucket. So this bottom edge didn't quite get as much exposure to the evapo rust as the rest of it did. Just hitting it with a light bristle brush. Just to kind of encourage that last bit off. And that's really all it needed because now it looks great. So I don't really intend to use it as a sledgehammer. Like I said before, it belonged to my dad and before that my grandpa. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to powder coat it with like a nice chrome finish or something and let it be pretty. And otherwise I would want to paint it with something so it doesn't flash rust again, and then I'm back in the same boat. So there we go. 